Hello, this is Pioneer SG9800 Stereographic Equalizer made from 1980 to 1981 oh, This was the last piece of uh, Silver Pioneer era and uh, the next model was uh, SG9 which is basically the same but with champagne or gold front panel this is a um, two channel 12 element or 12 band graphic equalizer with tape monitor the graphic equalizer divides uh, the audio frequency spectrum into 12 segments from 16 hertz to 32 kilohertz with each segment corresponding to an octave Individual controls for each segment provide continuous adjustment from minus 10 to plus 10 dB and allow the sound to be contoured in order to compensate for equipment and speaker characteristics. A listening room acoustics or personal preference adjustment can also be performed during recording. Our specifications are output level is 1 volt and uh, seven and a half watts maximum gain is plus minus db and attenuation is minus three or minus six db frequency response is from five hertz to 100 kilohertz and signal to noise ratio is 92 db total harmonic distortion is 0.02 percent which is in these days is pretty high control range as i said before is 10 minus plus 10 dB and frequency bands are 16 Hz, 32, 64, 125, 250, 500 Hz, 1 kHz, 2 kHz, 4 kHz, 8 kHz, 16 kHz and 32 kHz. It has uh, 22 uh, integrated circuits. 2 FET, 14 transistors and 19 diodes. Dimensions are 420, which is classic Pioneer with Pioneers from uh, Silver Era in Blue Era or spec. So 420mm wide, it's 150mm tall, 355mm deep. It weights hefty, 7.1 kilos, which is about 16 pounds. And it was made, as I said, from 1980-1981, continued by SG9 equalizer, which is practically the same. The front panel, you will find a power switch. You will find little LED, which signalizing power on. And then uh, overload LED. I don't know if from. Uh, from voltage uh, signal will turn on and then attenuation minus 3 and minus 6 dBs it's probably used with tape recording when the signal is too strong uh, equalizer you can uh, turn it off with buttons you have buttons on recording and off where all those LEDs, every single one this is left and this is right channel and uh, switch recording our uh, different outputs and equalizer is switch those LEDs on so it gives you really nice effect and then you have two are inputs or monitors tape on off and then this is those 12 bands left and right channel and attenuation 0 to 4 6 8 10 db and the same goes to minus it does click in the middle This nice feel into it. Uh, this potentiometer is inside. Now let's see how it works.
and this is how the machine looks uh, from inside and inside do you find one massive PCB for both channels power supply here from the left we can find the switch which is operated here this is multi voltage version so we find here 110 to 200 volts coming to transformer this is from secondary and this input uh, RCA connectors and a power supply and we have here a little relay this is here and left and right channel and then um, these wires goes from uh, our potentiometers and then we have our switches minus 3 minus 6 dB uh, equalizer or not recording and uh, tape monitor and that's all it's pretty simple on the rear side of the equalizer we will find from the left side equalizer input and output tape recording and play from left and right channel and we have little batch and we have little diagram how to connect it with the recording then we have voltage selector from 110 to 120 and 240 uh, 220 to 240 volts and one on switch 100 watt maximum AC outlet and then we have power cord which is about six feet long about two meters and this power cord is only life and neutral it is not grounded I use it with this American socket because you put this socket into power amplifier and save yourself quite a lot of space uh, in the main socket anyway thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye bye